For many, the name Matthew Shepard not only calls to mind one of the most horrific murders in modern history, it also represents a tragic but crucial turning point in the battle for equality for the LGBTQ community. This year is the 21st anniversary of the brutal hate crime that ripped Matthew from the world, bringing reflections on how the ripple effect it caused has been felt for generations. As a country, we were ready to talk about it. It would have been impossible not to. Matthew Shepard was just 21 years old when he was offered a ride home from a bar by Aaron McKinney and Russell Henderson on October 6, 1998. They beat him with the butt of a gun, tied him to a fence on the outskirts of Laramie, Wyoming, and left him. A few days later, Matthew died in a Colorado hospital. I think it spurred a national conversation about the state of LGBTQ rights in the country. Um, you, you know, I think when Matthew Shepard was murdered, um, marriage equality was very slowly passing state by state, and now it's the law of the land. Um, so we see these huge cultural shifts over the 20 years since he's passed. UVM senior Seth Wade was just four years old growing up in rural Illinois when Shepard was murdered, but came to know Matthew's story later when Wade realized he was also gay. He says Shepard's fate was a scar on his own psyche. That paired with um, the area I grew up really made it so that I was very cautious. Like I, to this day, I have a hard time just making eye contact with um, guys because I'm afraid like I, I kind of get, get poked back into that area of where, oh no, they might think I'm gay. And then and the silent voices, oh, that, what happened to Matthew Shepard? Last year, Shepard's ashes were interred at the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C., where the ashes of notable figures like Helen Keller and Woodrow Wilson also rest. And as the anniversary of Matthew's death looms, so too does the change that his murder brought about and the work still left to be done. We're, you know, talking about the national impact that Matthew Shepard had on the conversation about LGBTQ rights as the highest court of the land is debating whether or not it's still... Uh, it, whether or not it should be legal for employers to be able to fire folks for being LGBTQ. I still wish I didn't have that stress and fear that was encoded in me, and I just, I really look forward to it for even more generations not having that. I really, I really hope that continues. For MyChamplainValley.com, I'm Beth Jones.